If you haven't booked your summer vacation yet, no worries. The guy you're about to meet says last minute travel can actually work to your advantage. And tonight he's sharing all his hacks to help you get around the globe like he does, which is to say, in some very serious style. Here's ABC's David Wright. Even if you're a jet setter, even if you're an executive platinum diamond plus global services frequent flyer, chances are you've never met anyone as devoted to the art as Ben Schlappen. I fly about 400,000 miles a year. He's what's known as a travel hacker. Thank you very much. A savant in the realm of travel loyalty programs. I eat and breathe and sleep travel. At age 25, he's probably flown more miles than he will in a lifetime. I've flown about four million miles over my life. Four million miles, enough to go to the moon and back eight times, or around the world 160 times. Where have you been in the past week to 10 days? In the past 10 days, I've been, I don't even know. I, I think You I would, don't know? I don't, I really don't. Oh, and come I, on. And I couldn't tell you where I'm going starting Monday, because I don't know, I literally, I wake up in the morning, I look at my calendar, then I figure out, what's happening. The industry may call people like him travel hackers, but he doesn't like the term because hacking implies something nefarious. Someone like Justin Ross Lee made famous in this viral video from Elite Daily. I answer a lot of hate mail. You're a giant Well, the real JRL, please stand up. Ruthlessly enjoying every perk he can grab. I don't scam airlines. Airlines scam consumers. They're Goliath and I'm David. Ben Schlappig doesn't break any rules. My goal is to stay within the rules of the airlines, the credit card programs, the hotels. I want to maximize my value, but I don't want to break any rules. What he does do is exploit all the fine print. For instance, you've heard of the American Association of Retired Persons? Have you heard about AARP Term Life? You're a member of AARP? I am a member of AARP, which is completely legitimate. There are uh, no age requirements to join. You save $400 on British Airways business class tickets. He's lived out of this carry-on suitcase since last April. Do you ever miss the comforts of home? I do. There's something nice about having a fridge and something to come home to, but at the same time... That's not stocked with tiny little bottles? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> on those rare occasions when he does make it home to visit his parents, he's still dreaming of far-off adventures. This is Benjamin's flight simulator. He loves um, playing with that when he has free time. He can afford to do this because he's mastered the fine print of travel and credit card loyalty programs. So, deal him out. What do we got here? Well, what do you want? We have just about everything. Every card oh, issuer, every God. airline, every hotel. So, we have credit cards. <laughs> every single one of them. Remember George Clooney in that movie, Up in the Air? Oh. Maplewood card. How dare you bring that into this palace? Ben Schlappig is George Clooney 2.0. So which credit card do you use for everyday spend? It's, I use an American Express card. Well, but, which but, American Express? So you're, you want, if you want to maximize your points, you want either, for American Express, you want either the everyday preferred, so this gives you triple points on uh, supermarkets. American Express will let you have four credit cards oh, and, and here, as wait. many of the charge cards as you want. So now seven American Express cards. So that's his one, two, three, four credit cards that they cap you at. And, and but then, why so many? And then the business and then because the, there's, the charge ones. There's benefits for each of these. So, uh, this card, it gets you triple points on airfare. I spend a lot on airfare, so that's a good card for me. Uh, the American Express Platinum gets you into the Centurion lounges. Just having some cards saves him money on flights and hotel rooms. Other cards he uses to double or triple his points. One mile at a time. That's his blog and his philosophy. This is more than just a hobby for you, right? This is a job? For me, it's a job, it's an obsession. I guess you could say it's my life. So you take it to a whole nother level? I guess it's very different. So for me, getting there is half the fun, often more than half the fun. It depends on the airline. Uh, you know, I go to the Middle East a fair amount, flying Emirates there in first class. You get a shower on a plane. Um, have you ever showered on a plane? Never. I'm a little bit jaded nowadays, but I giggle every time I shower on a plane. Today, Ben is meeting up with two apprentice hobbyists, people he has inspired, Carrie and Stefan, both full-time working professionals who've used Ben's advice to travel the world on the cheap. Probably flown about two million miles of my life. This weekend, the trip we're taking to Charleston it probably would have been about 2,000 to 2,500 for airfare and hotels that that we're saving, that I'm using miles and some taxes and fees that are probably costing me 100 maybe $200. Let's see, I probably spent about, oh, let's say $16,000, $20,000 on luxury vacations over the last seven years. 
So it's not it's not cheap. I mean, I'm still putting out twenty thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more, but I was getting probably money. about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of value. All that plastic gives them something more than just bragging rights. But if you have all these credit cards, don't you have? Uh, doesn't that lower your credit score? Mike, so on the scale of up to 850, my credit score, last I checked, was 837, which is in the top two percentile. Um, and I have over 40 credit cards open. Airlines are constantly changing the rules, making it more difficult for people to earn miles for free trips. Our guy has about 40 different credit cards and a credit score, he says, of 837. How is that possible? It's not the number of credit cards that you have per se, but how you're managing those credit cards that ultimately determines whether you're credit worthy or credit unworthy. What do you think of these guys? I think it's genius. You know, I think it's fun and genius. I also think that it's very time consuming. You need a lot of time on your hands. These are professionals. Professionals or not, there's some practical money saving tips for those of us who are a little closer to earth. Tip number one, use the right credit card. This is something you should really consider because the difference between earning one point per dollar and three points per dollar can be huge. Tip number two, there's no such thing as a free mile. Don't redeem miles just for the sake of redeeming them. Redeem them when you're actually getting good value out of them. Tip number three, book really early or really late. This is why I book so many tickets off in the same day. So last minute travel is okay. Last minute is the best time to plan. Ben's jet set status means that the airlines and hotels treat him better than most of us mere mortals. Expedited TSA screening, access to high level lounges, even run ins with fellow hobbyists are all par for the course. I've never been to Cairo, and then you get like an 11 or 12 hour layover there. Even so, like George Clooney in that movie, he looks forward to the day when he can unpack his carry on for good. Until I figure out where I actually want to be. I'll just keep moving, I think. Hopefully not forever. I'd love a dog and a house. Interesting. And never getting on a plane you again. You crave a dog and a house I and do. never getting on a plane again. I do. But until that day comes. We're in Chicago just for a day and then it's on to the next stop. But in the meantime, let's have some fun. He figures he might as well enjoy every mile. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York.